Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Minx. If you've been here before, you know me, you know that I'm a nursing student and I like doing other things like dressing up, looking cute, eating healthy, living an active lifestyle. But this video is more about the nursing student life, specifically about the college that I go to. So I attend Brookdale Community College in New Jersey and I wanted to try to make the information a little more clearer about what you need to do to get into the nursing program or requirements. So because a lot of people are kind of confused and don't know where to start, including me, I had no idea about anything about nursing and it kind of gets confusing so I wanted to tell you the main things that you need to do to get started. I learned the hard way because even if I spoke to an advisor, I was still kind of confused. So here are three main things that you should think about or you need to know about the nursing program at Brookdale Community College. So the first thing you need to do is apply to the nursing program even after you have applied to Brookdale Community College. It's two separate things. So after they accept you into their school, you have to then go ahead and fill up the nursing program application and submit that as soon as possible, even if it's before you take your first class. The earlier you put in your application is the earlier you will get in. The other thing you need to do is take the TEAS test. The TEAS test is a standard entrance exam for nursing programs. It has a section for math, a section for English and a section for science. It can be a little difficult and I can make a specific video about that later, but if you get the books and stuff like that and you study, you should be okay, especially if you have a background in science. So the order is apply to Brookdale, then apply to the nursing program, take the TEAS test as soon as possible. That will get you an invitation to the information session, which is a invite only, you have to get invited. And once you attend the information session, they're gonna put you on the wait list, but you have to attend that information session and you have to take the TEAS test and pass it before you get to the information session. And just to let you know, the wait list for the nursing program is about one and a half to two years. And some people get in a little earlier if they're lucky, but most times that's how long it takes. I did like two semesters before getting onto the wait list because I took a while to take the TEAS test. So that just delayed the whole process when I could have been on the waiting list since last year before all this happened. So do those things first. The second thing that I wanted to point out is they want you to do a certificate program. They accept home health aid, patient care technician, and also CNA. There's a little office on site that you can go to and it's kind of like a affiliated company, but not really Brookdale itself. They offer those programs if you are having a hard time finding where to go. I have a home health aid certificate. If you definitely know you're going to be a nurse and going into nursing and you have no doubts about that, I would do that one because it's a lot cheaper and you waste a lot less time. So even if it's not necessarily a requirement to get you on the wait list, it's a requirement before you st actually start the nursing program. So also do that. I actually found a book that has the certificate program prices. A home health aid, it's $8.25. CNA course actually is less than the patient care technician. It's $1,200. The patient care technician is... $2,100. There's a lot of information and there's so much more that I can tell you, but I don't want to go on and on and on. So I just made three main points. The last point is just about your the actual courses that you need to take. Now, I can't give you an exact list of courses because everybody's background is different. I had a background in science, so a lot of my 
course is transferred but even if you don't have a background in science and you do have a college degree they'll take like your basic courses like math and english if you've attended college within the past 10 to 15 years so, so one thing i wanted to point out here my mistake was that i took this class as one of my last classes it's called the healthcare career exploration class by the time I took that class, I knew everything they were telling me because I went through the whole process of figuring out what to do. That class should be taken first. It's called HESC 107. It's going to tell you everything you need to do to get into the program. That's basically what that class is about. There's barely any tests. There's no tests. You just do one paper, you do a couple things. HESC 107. I'm not going to go too much more into the details because by the time you get to that class, you will have a better idea of what to do. So yeah, that's the basics. If you like this and you want to know more, if I didn't touch on things that you wanted to know, let me know. Leave a comment or a question in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer or I can make another video on it if it's something that needs a lot of explanation. I am on the wait list right now, so I didn't start the actual program as yet, but I got a good idea of what you need to do to get in. So like this video if you thought this information was helpful and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later or bring more information, whatever you want, just let me know.